Over the past five years, residents of the Naledi Trust Village had become accustomed to the dark. Uh, they could not pay ESCOM account, this particular, and then as a result they were switched off. Off the national power grid, but close enough to Johannesburg, the community was a perfect candidate for Anglo Platinum's pilot electricity project. So a few months ago, the mining giant moved in with a massive tank containing a mix of water and methanol. This mixture is piped through to these fuel cells, where an electrochemical process converts it into hydrogen gas, which is used to generate electricity. What you get is a mini power station generating 15 kilowatts of electricity, more than enough to power the 34 houses in the village. And the only byproducts are a few puffs of steam, which means even the eco activists will be happy. The process uses platinum as a catalyst, an obvious benefit for the world's largest platinum producer. But that's not all. So not only are you just creating uh, local jobs, uh, you're creating a knowledge base, but you're creating a sustainable applications for your products. You're increasing de demand to the point where you're creating sustainable jobs for the mines. The project also has the potential to make a difference in the lives of hundreds of rural communities. Good, we see. Right now I'm excited because when the people read, the child read, the read on the light, everything is fine right now. Sir. The Energy Department and Amplats are looking into rolling out similar plants in rural areas across the country. Ilkutsia, Naledi. You deserve to know more. ENCA.com.